Good morning. Happy Thursday. And it's time for a high five. Uh, you can see I'm in a different location this morning. I'm at the kitchen table. Behind me, you can see the picture of Jesus with Mary at his feet and Martha serving. Uh, you know, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. That's That was in my reading this morning, my Bible reading. And uh, why I'm sitting here this morning is Jesus is the bread of life. He is that living bread that came down from heaven. And I want to make much, you know, we, we make much about the blood. But during this season when there's so much fear, why don't we talk about the bread? The bread has healing power in it. You know, I was reading, I have this, um, uh, one of my favorite books, A Power Communion by Benny Johnson, Bill Johnson's wife. And she's, uh, Jesus said, I am the bread of life that comes down from heaven. He who comes to me and he who believes will never thirst. You know, he is that bread of life. He, he didn't say, I'm your vitamin. I'm your prescription drug. You know, the thing is, when you start reading miracles, about how communion has healed people, you're going to put more faith in communion every day than taking, making sure you take your vitamins every day or making sure that you take your prescription every day because this is the bread that heals. This is the meal that heals. Ken and I am sitting at the kitchen table and we have this container that's got uh, crackers in it. And in the morning, we split a cracker between the two of us. And then we have these beautiful little cups that my uh, friend Cindy gave me. And um, we take communion in these cups. We put grape juice in there. We don't use wine. We use grape juice. You know, grape juice is the blood of the grape. But we're gonna, let's get back to the, to the uh, bread. He said, I am that great, I am that bread that comes down from heaven. I am that living bread. You know, the, the thing about bread, and here's what uh, Benny J said, she said, of 44 nutrients and vitamins necessary for human health found in food, bread made from freshly grown grain has 40. It has 40 of the, uh, of the 44 that's needed. Now, I know that the, our bread and our our the things that come from our earth are so limited in nutrients because we have really worn out the ground and worn out the, the earth. But <clears throat> the, what you're doing is you're, saying, you're putting your faith in Jesus' body. He said, you who eat my body and drink my blood, you will have Zoe kind of life. Kenneth Hagin wrote the book, uh, Zoe kind of life. I know everything's backwards when I'm doing this, but he said that Zoe, the God kind of life, you'll have the God kind of life when you take communion. And the more you do it, the more faith you have. There's a story in here where this man was dying of cancer. He was a pastor. He was a pastor and, and uh, he was dying of cancer, pancreatic cancer. And his mother, one morning, she took communion elements and took them to the hospital and they took communion together. That was the turning point of this pastor's cancer. You know, he was a pastor. He should have known to take communion often, take it for healing. And, um, and it says here, as soon as he took communion, the cancer began to disappear until he was cancer free. You know, we take communion for a cluster and we, this isn't filled in, but we take communion for a cluster and you just fill the names of all your loved ones in here. And I have a niece, her name is Isabel, and she's with uh, Youth with a Mission and a YWAM, and uh, she's in the Solomon Islands, and I know her mother is concerned about this uh, coronavirus because she's over in the Middle East. And so we take communion and we include Isabel in our communion, that it doesn't, there's no distance in the spirit and we can pray for healing of all our family members, healing of our loved ones. You know, I have a, a friend, Nancy, her, her uh, grandson, Jacob, she's got him at the hospital today for checkups for healing in his body. She's taking it for his healing, for his foot every day. So this is 
This is the great exchange. Jesus took all our sicknesses that we could exchange it for wholeness and healing in our body. Chew on that today and have a great day. God bless.